This very much is the moment of decision for Lennox Lewis. Should he decide to go forward and uh, regain the title that he lost in spectacular circumstances against Oliver McCall in London last September? Or should he pack the whole thing in? There's been so much controversy about his style and uh, more controversy indeed about his change of trainers. Pepe Correa was sacked immediately after the McCall fight. And the man who was in the McCall corner, the almost legendary Emmanuel Stewart, has been brought in to try to pick up the pieces in Lennox Lewis's career. Three judges at ringside from Puerto Rico, California, and from England, Larry O'Connell, for this eliminator for the WBC heavyweight title, a title held by the man in the black trunks, Lennox Lewis, born in West Ham some 29 years ago. The Americans really haven't taken to him one little bit, but they certainly have taken to this uh, short, chunky Tyson lookalike, Lionel Butler, the 27-year-old from Bogalusa, Louisiana, fights out of New Orleans. There have been speculation all the way through this week that Butler wouldn't turn up for this. And by stepping aside, he would allow this to be a, a non-eliminator, and therefore the chance would be there for Mike Tyson to step in and have in his very first comeback fight an eliminator for the title held by a stablemate, Oliver McCall. And that's the sort of thing that Lewis will really have to watch. That was a good over-the-top right hand by the very dangerous Lionel Butler. What an indifferent start he had to his career, losing 10 out of the first 17. The last 17 have been won inside the distance, and he's a hugely dangerous opponent. Pushing 19 stones, he's only 6 feet tall, and Lennox Lewis will have been more than well aware of the punching power of Butler, and now he's felt it. So has Lewis recovered, both physically and psychologically, from the shock knockout inflicted upon him by Oliver McCall in London at the end of last September. Good right hand by Lewis. Butler has been stopped in the early parts of his career. He's been stopped three times. He's lost two contests on disqualification. And he really is a rough, tough, really nasty street fighting sort of a customer. A great hand speed by the shorter man, Butler. And Lewis grins. And one doesn't like to see a fighter especially in a fight as important as this doing that Butler will try to finish this as early as possible because stamina may well not be on his side and he's trying to cut off the ring against the larger man good footwork by Lennox Lewis he's got to keep out of the way one thinks for the first few rounds and wear his man down they reckon in America that all Lennox Lewis ever had was one good right hand and not a terribly good chin. Well, we'll find out as this fight unfolds. It's scheduled for 12 rounds, and that's the uh, full championship distance. So Butler has given a very definite indication of just how dangerous he is. Marty Denkin saying, close your hands, 10 seconds to go. Lewis's composure uh, undented, it seems, by that overhand right from the chunky Lionel Butler. But he is a dangerous, dangerous man. And Lewis straight back to the corner. So Lennox Lewis, the former WBC champion, now 29 years old. 26 contests, 25 wins, just that one defeat by Oliver McCall. And he's won 21 inside the distance. And sparking out instruction to Manuel Stewart. You're not going to get hit because there's no room for it, you understand? You can't catch you out here. Just keep, keep, just keep shooting a little short shot, you know. But see, you're giving him a little too much leeway now. When he pulls back and he cuts off, started going to... Emmanuel Stewart saying you're giving him a little bit too much leeway. And there's that right hand. Unfortunately for Lewis, he was on the way back and his head was turned well out of it. But uh, he came back himself. But Butler showing just that he is a dangerous man and a lovely, sparky little right uppercut from Lewis. And Lennox Lewis... The former champion has had a feral taste of the power of Lionel Butler. And Butler did, the little man, the chunky man in the red trunks, come in with a, a nice uh, left hook. So he's not just a one-punch man himself.
and there really is an awful lot of uh, Mike Tyson in the style of Lionel Butler. Mike Tyson not at ringside tonight, but somewhere not too far away is uh, Butler's manager, Don King. Lewis needs to win this, not just to get the career back on the rails again, but to be certain of a crack at Oliver McCall for the WBC title. He's rated number one challenger. Lionel Butler is rated number two. What an impeccable record Lennox Lewis had until he walked onto Oliver McCall's right hand. Champion of Britain, Europe, the Commonwealth and the world and former Olympic champion. Right and left from Lennox Lewis. And the uppercut, that was a good one too. And Butler's having to hold on. In the past week, we found it very difficult to track down Lionel Butler to get him doing anything resembling any training. So one, wonder, one wonders just what he's been doing for the last few weeks. He wasn't too sure exactly where he'd been training himself in a recent press conference. Butler corner shouting to their man, hook, hook. And Lewis wisely covering up. A shot from Butler delivered with the open part of the glove. The second one wasn't. The Butler Campbell predicted an early knockout. Butler hitting on the break. Stinging jabs from the left hand of Lennox Lewis into the face of Butler. That was a good right from Lewis. Lewis not keeping the pressure up, he must do that. This has been a good second round by Lennox Lewis. But this sort of casual, taking the foot off the pedal thing, I think will earn a, a bit of a rebuke from Emmanuel Stewart when he goes back to his corner. A lot of booing in the crowd. There's, uh, well, the familiar hairstyle of one Don King. Hard to miss. Even in a, a darkened ringside, or at a darkened ringside. So Lionel Butler, 27 years old. This is 35th professional fight. He's won 23, lost 10 and one draw. Well, both men off the stools very quickly indeed and anxious to get back to this eliminator for the WBC title, the champion Oliver McCall. At ringside, the IBF champion George Foreman. The WBA champion is another Don King fighter, Bruce Seldon. And the WBO champion is uh, Riddick Bowe, who dethroned Britain's Herbie Hyde a few weeks ago. So the world title has never been as fragmented as it is at the moment. I think the fragmentation of Lennox Lewis's senses is what Lionel Butler wants to aim to do. And Lewis following the corner's instruction to the letter, keeping his man at a distance. And already a lot of puffiness around those uh, rather ring-worn eyes and eyebrows of Lionel Butler. Pepe Correa formerly with Lennox Lewis and now with Lionel Butler as uh, predicted that Butler will knock the former champion out no love lost there despite what Pepe Correa has been saying Butler content to take uh, the jabs of Lewis and hoping to just spring into action and launch a huge right or left and the Oliver McCall lesson it seems may just be a salutary one it's good defence by Butler. Just over midway through the third round. It's a 12-rounder, the full championship distance, remember. Lewis going into the body for the first time. 
think uh, Marty Denkin, the referee, indicating that Lennox Lewis may have stood on the foot of Lionel Butler. Lewis at his heaviest ever, 16 stones and 10 pounds. But although he's some five inches taller than Butler, he's giving away almost two stones. Butler, 18 stone nine, 261 pounds at the weigh-in. Good right from Lewis on the retreat. Uh, Marty Denkin didn't like that little pirouette and then the hit from uh, the former champion. And Butler breathing very heavily. The hands are down, the lower lip is hanging. And he's got to try to finish this quickly. Another stinging jab from Lennox, Claudius Lewis. And the left eye of Lionel Butler, I think, is uh, bearing testimony to that fine jabbing by the former champion. This contest certainly has lived up to expectations. And as soon as you do, give it the overhand right and come right back at the hook. You've got to start beating this boy up. If you don't beat him up, you let him get away. You understand? Mm -hmm. Beat him to the body when you get inside close. Mm -hmm. Look, inside close, Martin. You've got to go through. Give him. me that if you get there. Pepe Correa giving some don't advice back and back saying to Butler, you've, you've got to get inside this man. And that was what incurred the displeasure of the referee, Marty Denkin. Lewis still looking unruffled. Stay on the point. That was a good left hand from Butler to start with. And Lewis, as he has been in the past, is a little bit too casual right at the start of this fourth round. And he's got to pick it up from there. That superior reach of uh, Lennox Lewis, it's uh, an overall reach of some 10 inches, is really paying off for him. But Butler hasn't been beaten for four years. He's won the last 17 on the trot. And has tucked away two former world champions, Tony Tubbs and James Bonecrusher Smith. The way Butler is uh, fighting will certainly suit Lewis. Butler not jumping in the way his corner have asked him to do. And Lewis's superior ring craft paying off for him. You can almost sense that Butler is waiting to unleash some real monster of a shot either with right or left and he's quite happy to let Lewis jab away at him and rough him up and even mark him there's a little cut underneath his uh, left eye it's not going to worry him too much but all of those he's prepared to accept for one big shot and the referee is speaking to Lewis about uh, not hitting with the knuckle part of the glove which from here looks a bit harsh Now Butler's hardly thrown a punch this round so far. And when he does, he misses. Oh, good shot by Lewis. It's the heaviest Butler has been. He was 18 stones nine for his last contest. Oh! Well, Lewis has certainly put the Oliver McCall defeat behind him. And that was the punch of the contest. And I'd certainly like to have another look at that one. Just about 10 seconds to go. And for the first time, Butler is being forced backward. He's still desperately dangerous. But this short, chunky tank of a man has been rocked. And he acknowledges it. What a good round by Lennox Lewis.
You got good control over the fight. Now, this one, we're going to start taking a little bit more control now, okay? Push it and back a little bit more, but always being where you can take that half a step and then come back with your shot, okay? But start taking it to him and pushing him a little bit more. You've been letting him fight at his own pace at this point. Start taking it to him this round, pushing it more, but make sure that you're always where you can take your half a step on your right leg and then come back with your shot. I said I want you to go to him more, 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 but you can bang, bang, okay? Because if he missed the first shot, he's going to lose his balance all together. But start pushing him now. You've been letting him fight at his Water. tempo all the way through. Water. Now I want you to pick up the pace. Great advice by Manny Stewart. And that was the right hand came over. He teed his man up, and what a lovely shot that was. And he wasn't too far away with the second. A lot of water on the face and the torso of the man in red, Lionel Butler. And what a start to this round by Lennox Lewis. Emmanuel Stewart had said to him, you're letting this fight go at his pace. It's time you started dictating. And that's exactly what Lewis has done. Well, what a coup this would be for Lennox Lewis if he could stop the man who's reckoned to be one of the most dangerous in the entire world heavyweight division, no matter what uh, letters are in front of it. So Butler down for the first time in uh, five years. He's won the last 17 on the trot, all by KO. One of them, in fact, was by disqualification. But he had to take a great shot, and he took another one by Lewis. And uh, somewhat injudicious use of the head there by Lionel Butler, holding and pulling his man on. Butler going for the big one. That was a push. Very difficult for Lewis, the man uh, trying to close him down completely, and he pushed him away. Requires considerable strength to push a man of almost 19 stones over, but Lewis did it. Or can he knock him over with his fists? To the body by Lewis. The advice in the corner, you start dictating the pace of this contest. And Butler looking a little bit on the weary side, he's breathing heavily. And Lewis looking for the opening with the right hand again. This uh, cross-arm defence of Butler has been reasonably good all the way through. But a minute to go to the end of the fifth. And I just do get the feeling that Lan Butler, Lionel Butler is losing his appetite for this contest. All sorts of problems with drugs in the last few years. And his fitness may not be uh, exactly what he would wish. And once again, as another round comes to its end, we have some 30 seconds to go. Butler hasn't really thrown anything at all. But Lewis cannot, as he knows to his cost from the McCall fight, afford to lose concentration for a fraction of a second. Well, Butler's offering nothing. It was a good right hand, and he's got him. He's got him. That's it all over. And 19 stones of Lionel Butler is unable to get up. It was that one sweet right hand that did it. But the appetite for the contest had clearly drained away from Lionel Butler, right perhaps from the start of that fifth and very decisive round. Pepe Correa comes over, has a look at his man, and then walks away. The referee, Marty Denkin, checks and looks in the eyes of Lionel Butler, but the eyes that will be sparkling with delight will be those of Lennox Lewis. He hasn't got his world title back, but what a major, major step he's taken toward regaining it. That was the start of the round. A little tip-tap with the left and then the right. And what a finish it was. Butler, the hands down, had hardly thrown a shot at all. That glancing right hand just uh, nicked him and he started to go and the referee stepped in straight away and Butler may well have got up but the referee decided enough was enough. He saw the signs and this man has been counted out for only the third time in his career. It's his first defeat for four years and Lennox Lewis absolutely thrilled and so he may well be because Butler was reckoned to be, well, 
Save Mike Tyson, the most dangerous man in any heavyweight division. And he really has taken a humiliating defeat at the hands of Lennox Lewis.